everybody, it's Annie Mazmanian from Amazing Sense by Annie, Independent Sensing Consultant. Welcome to my amazing channel. Hey! All right, I'm super excited today to share with you the entire winter 2020 Bring Back My Bar collection. All right, it's finally here and I'm super excited, like I said, to sniff and share each and every single one of these. Now it's gonna be a lengthy video, I'm super, super sorry, but I've got my cheat sheet here on my phone, I've got all the bars laid out in front of me, I'm gonna try to sniff them, describe them how they were on, how they are described on the cheat sheet, and let you know what I think about them personally. And then I'm gonna divide them up into the likes and the dislikes so that I can figure out which one I wanna add to my Scentsy Club. If you're interested in the Bring Back My Bars, they are available till the end of December. However, some of them might sell out and become unavailable. So get them while you can online at www.amazing02.sensi.ca. No problem if you're not from Canada. Go down, go to the drop down menu, find the little Canadian flag, switch it over to your own flag and you can shop all you want add it to your cart check out everything will get delivered right to your home however you better get shopping because there is a cutoff date which ooh, is about december 11th december 12th so that you can guarantee shipping will arrive before christmas these make amazing christmas presents along with the rest of scentsy products also if you're interested in saving some money shop the collections tab on the main like menu bar click on that you'll see the section called bundle and save and you could buy five bars and get one free oh i got something in my eye okay <laughs> so yeah shop that and save a little bit of money over the holidays right all right everybody so why don't i get started on these let me open up my um cheat sheet here so let me go back to the beginning all right, I love this first one, a wink and a smile. Now, a wink and a smile has been back in Bring Back My Bar collections in the past. I'm not sure exactly when the first one was, when I first originally saw it, but I thought it was super cute because it's a wink and a smile. And I thought, how cute would that be if a dentist and an ophthalmologist joined forces and opened a, an office together, right? An eye doctor, a teeth doctor, so cute, a wink and a smile. Anyways. Super, super cute. So that's what I thought about when I first saw this bar. So this bar is described as a flirt, no, the flirty, girly, fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in bloom, rounded out with plummy lemonade. Hmm. Mm. Now this scent to me is all floral. I do not smell any citrus or any lemonade like in it. However, now it says plummy i'm expecting some sort of a fruity scent all i smell is flowers now it's not too overpowering like flower shop or any other floral scented um waxes that we've had in the past this is all very very soft i do smell i'm, I'm i just smell flowers now tulips in general and daffodils don't really have much of a floral smell to begin with but it is such a pretty scent. So for if you're not one to like a lot of floral scents, you might actually like this. Again, it is pretty like soft and subtle in the flowery scent. Not something I would generally melt this time of the year. Maybe I would probably wait till about February, March where I'm kind of getting sick of the holiday fall smells and anxious to start that spring summer collection. But it's still such a nice, pretty, fresh kind of smell. Again, I don't really smell the lemonade or the plumminess that it describes, but you know what? Every nose is different, so let me know what you think with a wink and a smile. All right, the next one is, oh, my phone keeps going locked. Okay, next one is called Amber Hollow. Now, I think Amber Hollow was a scent of the month, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe somebody can comment down below. I feel like it was a scent of the month for like Halloween, October, November-ish. But anyways, comment below if you remember when this scent originally came out. It's described as clo clove leaf, cardamom, and dark amber, amber spice up a warm cedarwood base. Now, let's smell this one. Ooh, that is wowza. Very, very spicy. And that's how I remember this one when I first smelt it. 
I get a big punch of cardamom and clove. Now, if you're not familiar with cardamom, it is kind of a unique scent of its own. I do sometimes get clove and cinnamon mixed up. I find them similar in scent, but I don't know, there's not much cinnamon in here if that's what you're thinking, but there is a big punch of cardamom to begin with. Clove for sure, and then there's that muskiness, that woodsy smell of cedarwood as a good base. I don't smell too much amber, and I'm a huge amber fan. Uh, I would have loved to smell more amber in it, but then it might, it would take away from the cardamom and the clove. So you really, really need to probably love that manly, woodsy, musky smell to love this one. It's definitely not on my, I'm going to order this smell, but it's not something I would completely rule out. I think this one combined with maybe a nice fresh scent might be a good mix. I love mixing my wax bars together, but this one on its own, maybe not so much. I think maybe like for a man cave or a gentleman that lives on his own, I think it would be a really, really good compliment for him. But for me, not so much. <laughs> All right, next is, let's see, apple s'mores. Ooh, apple s'mores. Okay, apple s'mores is described as harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to a classic toasted marshmallow vanilla cream and warm cedarwood. All right, let's see. That's a lot of descriptive words. Ooh, I like that one. But you know what? I feel like I could describe it in a lot less words. <laughs> I feel like it smells like apple meets, apple meets s'mores. I would say apple, graham crackers, and marshmallows. And then there's like that smokiness smell to the toasted marshmallows. But that's what it smells like. I guess it would be the cedarwood. There's that smoky cedarwood kind of smell to it. But the apple smell is not too strong. It's a really, really nice apple and cinnamon scent to it. And then the dollop of coconut is probably, I'm thinking like marshmallowy vanilla smell, but it's probably that coconut smell I'm smelling. And then there's something, it's probably, there's something like a bakery smell to it, which reminds me of graham crackers. I don't know. And then there's that, again, that kind of woodsy scent to it, which is the cedarwood. Oh, I like that one. And it's not too strong in the apple and cinnamon. Nothing like Johnny Appleseed or Cinnamon Bear or nothing too Christmassy. This is a really, really good smell for this time of the year or even in the early fall, like September, October kind of, kind of season. Oh, it is such a pretty, pretty scent though. Apple s'mores, you gotta get this one. Okay, next is black currant bubbly. And boy, do I have a little story to tell you about this one. So black currant bubbly was the scent of the month for January. I don't remember what year. How cool would it be if they like told you originally released January 2012 or something like that. But so it came out um, for Christmas time, not Christmas, for January, but in December. And the warmer was like this beautiful, glittery, it had like sequins all over it. I don't remember. Somebody comment down below which one it was. But I loved the smell so much that I bought a whole bunch of them. I think I bought like two six packs. And by the third bar or fourth bar that I was melting, I was like, mm, I don't really like it anymore. I'm so sick of it. Have you ever done that before? You fall in love with the scent of the month. The first time you melt it, the second time you melt it, you're like, yes, I love it. I can't get enough of it. And then you order like a bulk version of it. And then you're like, oh, why did I do that? Anyways, that's what I did. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my story about black currant bubbly, but I love it because it reminds me of that Christmas season, that December, January, and how much I loved it. Scent does really ignite those memories. It's it's such a beautiful um, thing to have in my life. I absolutely love this journey that I'm on. So it's described as champagne bubbles stir black currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar together. I love this. And it's so true. It's so it still reminds me of that of that smell and how I how much I got sick of it. So the the berries, the sweetness, 
there's something sweet it's probably the vanilla and then there's that sweet citrus smell so it is a very sweet kind of there's like a punch to it that sweet raspberry orange champagne -y kind of scent mixed all with vanilla it's very much a raspberry smell in total but not like it kind of reminds me a little bit of like rock and ruby raz from the spring easter collection i call it the easter collection from last year but it's such a sweet smell and unfortunately it's not going to go back in my favorite pile because it still reminds me of how much i melted it and i think i just overdid it on the wax welcome so it's going in my thank you next pile <laughs> all right so Let's go to the next one now. Hold on a minute. Got to unlock my phone. All right. Ooh, cashmere pear. So cashmere pear is up next. Love, love this one if you haven't smelt it. Now this one has come back in the Bring Back My Bar. I feel like a lot of these have been back before. I would love to see ones that I've never smelt before, but I feel like that's a long shot. So this one is described as slip into sens sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger, a blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Can you hear my kids screaming? Oh my goodness. It's just after, oh, it's just after dinner time and poor Nathan is left alone too. <laughs> clean up the mess while I make this video. Oh, I love cashmere pear. Oh, I would love to see cashmere pear as a body line. It's just so like, like the description, it, there's something so sensual, so sexy about it. It is so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Would you be, would you judge me if I told them to be quiet? They're so loud. Okay. But this is so pretty. Now, this one I find is more is more amber and pear. I love the sense a scent of pear. It's one of I love eating pears. I love cooking with pears. I love drinking pear. Um it is such a beautiful scent. But the combination of pears with amber, it's again, it's just I don't know like again like I said it's so pretty it's so sexy it's so sensual and then there's the vanilla I forgot about the vanilla but you get the pear you get the amber I get the amber more and then I get the pear and then I get the vanilla so it's very like earthy and fruity and sensual you gotta smell it it's a lot of people I think have commented um saying it smells like soap it is a very clean smell. It, I can understand how they would uh, describe it as soap. To me, it, it's not so much soap. It smells like a nice kind of perfume for women or men. Anyways, okay, that is one of my favorites and I'm so grateful it's coming back. So that's going in my favorites pile. The next one is Central Park Pralines, which I know a lot of people have been super excited for. This one is, again, making another comeback in the Bring Back My Bars. It's described as, just like the name, decadent confection, oh, so decadent confection of rich roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. Oh, and it smells just like pralines and cream ice cream to me. It's just, it's so nutty and rich in that vanilla smell or in that um, caramel smell. And then there's like that base note of vanilla and sugar, but you really get a pow of vanilla and nuts of the praline and caramel. That is one of the first smells I smell. This is a perfect scent to melt like right now when you're making your, your, um, what, are the, what is that called? Bark, praline bark, peanut, brittle, brittle. <laughs> oh, now this one is a very, very strong smell. It is not one of my faves just because it's so small, but I would probably take half a cube of this and mix it with vanilla bean buttercream just to kind of dim down the scent of that praline and caramel scent. Um, that's always a good idea too. 
if there's something you really, really like, but you find you find it a little too overwhelming, just grab a cube of vanilla bean buttercream. Vanilla bean buttercream is such a nice, like kind of neutral scent. And I find that it mixes well with absolutely everything, even like the fresh scents. Um, it's vanilla, like you can mix vanilla with anything, that, in my opinion. So mix a half a cube or a full cube of vanilla bean buttercream with half a cube of pralines. I want to keep calling it pralines and cream, but it's not pralines and cream. <laughs> Central Park pralines and try it out for yourself because it would be a nice kind of maybe a more of a subtle smell, if you know what I mean. All right. So next is another yummy smell called Cozy Chai. I think Cozy Chai was originally in one of the holiday scents or a fall winter catalog from a couple of years back, but it's described as warm spicy cinnamon vanilla bean and caramel mm, and that's what it smells like and it's not too strong this one i really really like because i feel like there's more like vanilla in vanilla in it as opposed to caramel or cinnamon and even the caramel and cinnamon is not too strong oh i love it and then and then there's like that spicy warm chai that signature chai smell to it too oh i love it oh it just it reminds me of chai lattes that's uh, you know from starbucks or <laughs> from your local coffee shop it just smells so yummy so cozy chai you gotta get it your home is gonna smell like a coffee shop all right next is lavender and white balsam and i think this one was also i feel like this one was also um a scent of the month I'm not completely 100% sure. You know you've been in Scentsy for a long time when you can literally remember when they've all been in the catalog or in rotation at some point. Sorry, it's super bright. Okay, so this one is described as lavender freshened by wintry white balsam and crisp amber. So, yes. Uh, oh, yes. This is that Christmas. Oh, I think this is the Christmas I met Nathan it's like a lavender Christmas tree. That's what it reminds me of, lavender Christmas tree. Is there amber in it? Not really. But it just think, lavender meets Christmas tree, and that's what it smells like. The balsam, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to melt this now. Right beside the Christmas tree. Mm. Okay, that one is easy. It's lavender and Christmas tree. You gotta get it. Okay. Moving on, marshmallow mint, yay, for Christmas. Described as butter mint and marshmallow make merry, make merry beneath an amber veil. So apparently there's amber in here. I don't remember amber being in here, but it smells like marshmallow and mint. This is a really, really light scent. Again, I, okay, I can smell a little bit of amber. I smell a little bit, not too much, but this is a super, super light smell, so probably really good for a smaller room, maybe a bathroom or maybe a hallway, because I don't think the scent throw, in my opinion, will be very, very strong. Maybe it's my nose, because I've already sniffed how many, six of them or eight of them. <laughs> maybe my nose is getting tired. But yeah, it's a nice, nice marshmallow mint. That's exactly what it is. I feel like it's more marshmallowy than mint. It's got a really nice, subtle hint of amber, not too much. Oh, all right, next is, oh, my phone keeps going in hibernation, My Dear Watson, which used to be in the catalog under the men's category and now is not. So I'm sure there's a lot of happy men and women or humans in general who are excited to see this one back. It's described as refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. And if only all men would step out of the shower smelling like this one. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Oh, I can definitely smell the bergamot, the cedar, not so much suede. And I don't know. I feel like bergamot and mint are similar together. There's not too much mint. It's more bergamot and cedar and suede. Bergamot and then there's like that earthy, rusty, not rusty, like musky smell but it smells so good. It smells like a men's cologne. That's what it smells like. This should be packaged 
and um, advertised as Scentsy Cologne for men. Oh, I love it. My dear Watson. Perfect name as well. All right. So moving on is Cutie Pie Cupcake right there. This one is described as sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and icing sugar. Ooh, so this one smells like, it smells like almost like an orange pound cake. Yes, I'm going to go with that. It smells like, but there's almost like a little lemony in it too. Lemon, clementine, I keep thinking it's going to smell like oranges, but there's, I feel like it smells like lemon pound cake. Not so much clementine pound cake, if you know what I mean. Oh, it smells more like citrusy than cakey, if that makes sense. But you still get that hint of vanilla cake smell, like vanilla cupcake, like that, like a birthday cake smell. But it's got a combination of birthday cake and citrus. For me, I smell more lemony than clementiney, if you know what I mean. But it's such a nice smell. I don't find it too strong either. So I'm going to have to try it out in my kitchen and see how the scent throw is before adding more cubes. Maybe it will be good in just like a bathroom or in the hallway or, or in the walkway, you know, like the entryway before I try out more cubes. It's not my favorite, but I'm definitely going to put it in the maybe pile. <laughs> okay, so we've got Painted Leaves is next. And Painted Leaves was, I think it was from the fall collection last year. That's how well I remember. This one is more recent, definitely. And I'm glad that this one came back because it was, it totally, when I melted it, it reminded me of fall wet leaves, wet leaves, fall rainfall. It's described as wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. Mm. And it just smells like... <laughs> I know I'm horrible at describing. It smells like a wet forest. Does that wet fall forest? Now you're like, Ooh, Annie, that does, that's not very appealing, but okay. Hear me out. Think of a nice crisp fall day. You're walking through the forest. It's damp. That's that smell. Like the sun is out, but it's a crisp day. You got your, your hat on your toque. I'm going to call it a toque because that's what we call it here in Canada or a beanie. You got your boots on, you got your winter coat. And it just, you're one with the nature. It smells like leaves and trees and wood. I'm so sorry. That's how, oh, stop going into sleep mode, phone. Yeah, it smells like wet leaves and trees. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave it at that. That's my final answer. Painted leaves. It smells really, really good. And I would almost combine this one with a wink and a smile because there's the floral scent of this one. And the woodsy scent of this one would be a great marriage. All right, moving on. So we've got Peppermint Dreams. Ooh, I love this one. So Peppermint Dreams, a warm rush of chocolate cupcake sweetness cooled by a blast of fresh mint. Now, there's too many scents that remind me of after eight chocolates. There's just too many of them because this one really does remind me of those little delicious after eight chocolates that you've heard me tell the story about how my brothers and I would go ahead and steal them and then my mom and dad would get mad at us because they would save those because that was like the height of sophistication back in the 80s and 90s. Like, I don't know who served those at their fancy dinner parties. <laughs> except my parents. My parents would like save this platter of after eights to serve with coffee and tea after your fancy dinner party. And my brother and I, uh, I have a younger brother that's 18 months younger than me. We would eat those and, and the box would be empty. We would leave them on my mom's um, like china cabinet or it was a, it was a cabinet anyways. <laughs> with the box empty, we were horrible. I'm sorry, mom, I love you. <laughs> We mean well, but that's why I'm addicted to chocolate now. No. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it reminds me of after eights chocolate. Oh, but it's more, I feel like this one is more chocolatey than minty. Whereas like other um, scents are more minty than chocolatey. There is, I feel like there's too many 
that remind me of after eight's chocolates but this one is so so delicious i love it oh i can't wait to get more of them okay so that one is peppermint dreams if you love after eight's chocolates you gotta get these ones all right okay bone next one is plum and white woods now i don't remember this one but the name sounds so familiar oh it's described as sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchids well i love vanilla mm, and i love plums Ooh, this is nice i don't remember this one but i remember like the name sounds familiar oh this one is really nice so it's woodsy and it's fruity and it's savory with that vanilla scent to it the first scent i got out of it i have to be honest was almost like was almost like an amber smell or was almost like a white musk smell and then i got the raspberry and the vanilla raspberry and plum so i got the my first sniff i got more like a woodsy musky smell followed by a fruity smell along with the vanilla smell but this is a really nice smell that I can see myself melting like all year round. I feel like it's also kind of a manly on the manly side, like a cologne, cologne kind of smell. But it is a really nice smell. Oh, you know what? There's maybe that amber smell I'm getting. There's a little bit of a floral smell to it, too. I don't know. Oh. I like this one. Okay, this one is definitely going in my Scentsy Club. White Plum and Woods, that one, for sure. Ooh, my collection is getting really, really big. Okay, next one is Pumpkin Marshmallow. Now, Pumpkin Marshmallow, I think, was in the catalog last year or the year before, maybe two years ago. It's described as, now, if you love pumpkins and you love marshmallows, you're going to love this one because it's sticky, sweet marshmallow spooned onto fresh, baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust this one yep smells like pumpkin pie pumpkin cheesecake <gasps> from oh. oh this one smells like pumpkin cheesecake yes pumpkin cheesecake all the way with marshmallow on top oh. the marshmallow i'm like for me, marshmallow smells like almost like a cream cheese. Like it's white, it's vanilla-y, it's creamy, it's milky, it's sugary. It smells like pumpkin cheesecake. Let's change this to pumpkin cheesecake. I can't describe it any better than pumpkin cheesecake. You smell the pumpkin, you smell the creamy vanilla scent, and you smell the graham crackers or the, the bakery like cookie smell or the bready smell. I'm going to leave it like that. Pumpkin marshmallow. I'm changing it to pumpkin cheesecake. <laughs> I don't even know which pile to put it in. Mm. Going in the maybe pile. Okay. Uh, quiet Grove. Oh, this phone. How do I keep my phone on longer? It keeps going into sleeping mode. Okay. Quiet Grove. Uh, there we go. It's described as a soft spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. Ooh. That is very bergamonty and jasmine-y. And there's some sandalwood in there. That is not what I expected it to be. And for some reason, I feel like I've smelled Quiet Grove before. It's a very nice, fresh smell, but there's all, it is, again, I'm gonna put this in the manly scent pile. Like it smells like a cologne. You gotta like bergamot, you gotta like sandalwood. Jasmine, there's not a lot of jasmine. Jasmine is a flower, right? There's not too much of a floral scent to this. It is more of a manly, fresh, out of the shower smell is what I'm getting. But it is such a nice smell. Ooh, Nathan would really like this one. Okay. All right, maybe pile. Next one, sweet plum pastry. This one is described as black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This smells like crumble, berry crumble, or berry, like a berry pie. A mixed berry pie. That's or blueberry pie. That's what it smells like. Oh, it smells like blueberry pie. Oh, that smells so good. 
Okay, I just need to take a minute. It smells so good. I'm so sorry. I'm taking up so much of your time. I appreciate you watching me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. <laughs> it smells like blueberry pie or blueberry crumble. It just smells like, it smells like blueberries, toasted plum, black plums. I don't, I don't know. Plums, blueberries. It smells fruity. It, for me, I smell blueberries. Oh, it smells almost a little bit like blueberry cheesecake. I wonder, oh, never mind. Oh, that smells so good. Sweet plum pastry, blueberry pie. <laughs> okay, we're down to the last three. We're almost there, guys. Hang in there. Vanilla Oud. Vanilla Oud, yeah, I just like saying the name, has been back in Bring Back My Bar quite a few times. I know because it's one of my mom's favorite, along with the next one called Vanilla Suede. I don't know when it's actually been in circulation in a catalog. Must have been before my time. But it's described as sweet vanilla grounded by leather and earthy oud wood. Oud. And it's just, it's a really, really light smell. It's really light in the vanilla and suede and leather. Now, it's nothing like, like weathered leather or what's the other one that we have? It's nothing like those ones. Not, I'm going to say not like weathered leather at all. Isn't there another suede one? Oh, vanilla suede. It, this one, hold on. oh yeah, that one's much stronger. Okay, this one, Vanilla Oud, is super, super light. It's very, very light, but not like vanilla bean buttercream. There is that earthy smell to it, of the of uh, an earthy, woodsy smell of the Oud. Whatever. It's vanilla meets a tree. Vanilla and a tree. Vanilla and wood meet together and... <laughs> Have a baby i don't know this is what it would be but this is one that i know like my household we really really love and i know my mom loves it because it's a nice smell that you can kind of scent all year long and it just gives that home a nice especially if you have a lot of wood in your home as well it just gives it that nice earthy scent to it just i don't know or it's a nice like transition smell too come transition smells i Transition smells are, for me, when you're kind of getting out of the summer smell, like come August, September, you're not quite ready for fall, winter smells. And same with when you're done with the fall, winter smells or the Christmas smells, come January, February, but you're not quite ready for the spring, summer smells, even rolling into March. This is this is the roll into March. This is a nice smell. So vanilla oud, get them while you can because you only have till the end of December or add them to your Scentsy Club. All right, so um, next one is vanilla suede. So oh, vanilla suede. So vanilla suede is definitely more uh, suede. -y. Let me pull up the description. So it's described as classic comforting vanilla combined with, sorry, combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a cozy, subtle, masculine fragrance. This is definitely more like suede than vanilla oud, but nothing like weathered leather. You can smell the suede, you can smell the vanilla, but it's more suede. It's more manly as well, but fresh at the same time. It's not earthy at all. It's not, doesn't smell like a tree. <laughs> and it doesn't smell like a brand new car, whereas weathered leather does. It's just, it's really, really nice. I, and it's fresh. I, I would definitely melt this in like my boy's room. It, for me, it's a manly smell. It smells like a man, men's cologne. I love it. Such a pretty, pretty smell. I describe everything as pretty. It's amazing. All right, last but not least, Sweet Amber and Freesia. I feel like this one was in the catalog or was it a scent of the month? I don't remember. Somebody let me know. But it's our last one, and it's described as crisp layers of verbena blossom, freesia, and sweet amber. Mmm, and it is such a pretty floral scent. This is definitely very girly. It's very floral, but not, for me, it's not as floral as a wink and a smile, wherever it went. Where's wink and a smile? Wink and a smile, for me, was very floral. This one is not. Maybe because the amber and freesia, um have a good combination with the verbena as well. It's not very citrusy. It's just, it's kind of creamy. It is kind of soapy as well, but girly soapy. Do you know what I mean? 
it's just, it's really, really pretty. You got to try it and let me know what you think. All right. I think that's it. I think I've gone over all 20 of them. 35 minutes, almost 35 minutes. I really, really appreciate you taking the time and watching this video. Hopefully you watched it from the beginning to the end, but you can fast forward. I don't care. I wouldn't know. Leave me some positive comments down below. Which bars you like, which bars you don't like, which bars you were hoping to see. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am a big patchouli fan. I know you either like patchouli or you don't like it, but I really, really do hope to see that in the future. I've never smelled anything patchouli um, other than ghostly greetings with Scentsy. So I really, really, really do hope to see something like that come back in the future. So that's one of my, that's on my wish list. But all of these are amazing. Not all of them I would melt this time of the year. I would definitely save some of them for the spring, summer or next fall, but super, super excited that they did come out with this now. And I can't wait to, to melt some of these and add them to my Scentsy Club. My Scentsy Club section is much bigger than my not, not so like collection. So I need to narrow it down quite a lot. But yeah, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And always don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you too can stay up to date with all the latest, greatest, amazing Scentsy news and product reviews. Don't forget to find me on Instagram and TikTok for more fun, amazing videos. I'll leave you some links down below so you can enjoy Scentsy in your home as well. And if you're interested in joining and starting 2021 off on the Scentsy foot, let me know. I would be honored if you joined my team. I'll leave you that, that link down below as well so you too can get some more information on it too. However, if you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, message me on Instagram or send me an email and we can find the time to chat. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. I have to head back out and help clean up and get these kiddos off to bed. But in the meantime, everybody, I hope you're all staying well. Be safe to one. I'm getting them all mixed up. My signature send off. No, I hope you're all well. Be safe, be kind to one another, and always, always be amazing. Bye for now.